won't stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest Hey everyone, welcome to today's Get It All Done. If you're new here, I'm Becca. I'm a mom to three boys and a military spouse, and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I do a ton of Get It All Done's vlogs. I also like to do some makeovers and decorating, so if you like that, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and yeah, today we are just getting a bunch of stuff done. I usually share a recipe in these videos, but we are actually going to get takeout today because we have been living off Thanksgiving food for the past like five days. <laughs> so we're gonna go and get some Chinese food. Uh, I think we're gonna go to the local buffet. We also have to go to Target because we are out of diapers. We have a few other things that we also need to pick up. So we're gonna go run some errands. As you saw, I just started a load of laundry. Today was a virtual day for the boys, my two older boys. It wasn't like a virtual day, it was like an e-learning day. So it was nice because we got to wake up whenever we wanted and then start working on the schoolwork. We didn't have to like check into like the classroom or anything. It was just a list of things they had to get done. Got that all done with both boys. So now we are gonna go run errands, but I just start some laundry because as you could tell, my like miscellaneous basket was overflowing. I have no more microfiber floss and I need them to be able to like clean the kitchen and stuff. I also want to mop the floors today. I need to vacuum the rugs. So I figured while we're out, we'll eat so I can get back and really get that stuff done. So with that being said, we are gonna go ahead and go run some errands. But before we do that, this video is also in collaboration with one of my really good friends on here, Ashley, on Ashley's Busy Life. And I'm gonna let her introduce herself now. Hey guys, my name is Ashley from Ashley's Busy Life. Thanks so much, Becca, for doing this collab with me. I hope after you get done watching her video, you head on over to my channel. I'm also uploading a day in the life and I make very similar content to Becca's. I do day in the life, vlogs, shop with me's, recipes, and so much more. I am a stay at home mama to four and I love uploading motivational real life mom content. So if that's what you're into, please head on over there. Let me know that she sent you, subscribe. And I'm also doing Vlogmas, so I will be uploading a new video almost daily. So I hope to see you guys there. All right, everyone, let's head out and go to what other place? What better place, really? Target.
it's so weird that it gets so dark so early now. It's not even that late. I still have a bunch of things to do, but it's like dark outside. Let me know if you're like me. It's like it gets dark and I'm like, it's, it's bedtime, but I still have to be productive because I still have things to do. So we just finished up at Target. The boys, well, Tristan's in the car with me. He's watching Monsters vs. Aliens, holding on to the cupcakes. Don't do that, baby. That he's probably destroying right now, but it's keeping him happy. Um, they're like little mini cupcakes, but I'll show you guys what I got from Target. Uh, whenever, like everything I got from Target, whenever we get home, I'll do a little haul. But Colby, Chris, and Grayson are all in GameStop right now. I'm just waiting on them. And then we're gonna go get a coffee, go home, and then I'm gonna start We'll do that haul and then start doing some chores that I really need to get done. I gotta finish up that laundry too. I started that one load before we left. I gotta switch it and start another load. Do all that stuff. So, we're gonna get home, work on all that stuff. It was nice to get out of the house today though. Even though it is a little chilly, it's like 53 degrees outside, which is cold for here. I know it's not cold everywhere, but it's cold for here. But, it feels kinda nice, not gonna lie. Kinda like fall weather, but yeah. We're gonna go home now after we get my coffee to keep me motivated to get through the rest of this night. Okay, we're back at the house now. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what I got from Target and then we will go switch the laundry and start a new load. So from Target we got me a new pillow because the pillow that I've been sleeping on is giving me like shoulder pain I think it just needed it's too flat needed to be upgraded so I went ahead and grabbed one at Target I don't know how well this pillow is gonna do but it's worth a try it says it's for side sleepers and I'm a side sleeper so hopefully it will work out well we'll see I also got some diapers Then I found this. I usually buy like the normal size bottles. I've never seen this one before, but I found this and it's just dish soap, right? Yeah, dish soap. So now I can just buy the bigger bottles and fill up the little like pump thing by the sink with that. I got some energy drinks. I love the Alani line and Target has them. I don't think all Targets, but a lot of Targets have them. Um, a lot of stores around here are starting to sell them. You can definitely get them at GNC for sure, but I got two breeze berries, two cosmic dust, right? Stardust, cosmic stardust. These are probably my favorite right now. And then I got two newer ones, which is the cherry slush, two cherry slush. And I was drinking the cherry limeade that they had, but I think that was a seasonal one and it was really good. So I'm sure the cherry slush will be equally just as good. And then we have some bath bombs, which the kids love using obviously for their baths. These are just like the kid ones. Then we have an assortment of the pirate's booty these are like individual bags so i can pack them with grayson's lunch too i got some more flossers got some more pringles i got a new toothbrush because i recently bought one and it was not soft enough and i've had this one in the past and it was soft enough so went with that and then I bought some of these sponges because I always usually buy these sponges. I love these ones, they're my favorite, but I wasn't able to find them for a while. And the ones I did that I was like, I'll just grab these ones are garbage. I really don't like them. So I saw these and figured since I saw them that I would pick them up. And that is it for the Target haul. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason why I 
should ever let you go mm. I don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up no, I don't wanna wake up I don't wanna wake up Without you Baby, without I have a ton of work ahead of me but it must be done we really have to get this place cleaned up I've been wanting to clean the floors for the last few days and every day it's just been like one thing or another I'm not able to get to it and they're so bad they need to be done so bad so I'm forcing myself to do it tonight even though I'm tired it's the end of the day I don't want to do it and doing the floors requires me also to clean up a lot of messes down here. Like I need to pick up in the kitchen, wipe everything down, pick up in the dining room, pick up in the living room. So it requires me to do a lot, but you know what? I really wanna vacuum the rugs and I really wanna do the floors and I'm gonna push myself to do it, even though I really don't want to. I'm gonna put my AirPods in, listen to a good podcast and just truck on through it, so. If you have something that you need to get done today, you can do it. Just push yourself, do it. Especially if you've been putting it off for a few days like I have. So let's get to it.
okay don't mind me i probably look super like greasy and oily because that was a lot of work but i'm so happy it's done the kids are in bed everything's picked up the floors are spotless downstairs it just feels so good when all of that stuff is done i also just realized that i let ashley introduce herself and i totally forgot to tell you guys she will be linked in the description box down below she was up in the cards um she'll be all over the place she'll be at the end of this video so be sure to go over to her channel she is one of my really good friends um she was a great sounding board for me whenever my husband deployed she was just always there for me and chatted with me and let me just complain and be my feelings and was always super supportive. Her husband actually used to be in the Marines so she knows what it's like to have a spouse go through deployments and all of that fun stuff. So she's just a really good friend of mine and I would love it if you guys go over there and subscribe to her channel and she's a mom of four and she's just she's so motivational she's always moving she keeps me so motivated and keeps me going really some days she's just such a good kind-hearted spirited person and you guys will not be disappointed in her channel and I know because you love my channel that you will absolutely 100% love her channel so just go over there let her know that I sent you and yeah I if you're coming over from Ashley's channel too, sorry, I'm scatterbrained this time of night, but if you're coming over from Ashley's channel too, I would love for you to leave me a comment down below. Let me know a little bit about yourself, whatever you feel comfortable sharing. I love chatting in the comments. That's the way I get to know you better and get to build more of a friendship with you when I get to also talk to you. So don't be afraid to leave me a comment, ask me a question. I'm an open book and yeah, I would just love to get to know you guys better. So even if you're new here in general, whether you're coming over from Ashley's channel or if you are just stumbling on my videos for the first time, leave me a comment and we can all get to know you a little better and chat. This is a great community here. I have so many wonderful friends and I would love for all of us to get to know you better. On that note though, today was a busy day. Tomorrow hopefully will not be as crazy. <laughs> Probably every time I swear, every time I say that, every time I'm like, tomorrow is going to be a little bit easier. Never pans out that way. But you know, it's just a busy season of life, and I'm just trying to soak it in and take it day by day. I uh, had a rough day the other day, and Chris was super awesome. He, you know, when he was able to take some time and let me get away, I went to a local drive-thru and sat in my car, talked with a friend, and ate some food. <laughs> like, it's just so nice sometimes just unwinding by yourself like that. Like, I don't always need breaks like that, and not every day is hard like that. They're few and far in between, but some days are just harder than others, you know. you When you have multiple children and I mean, they're doing typical kid things, you know, but kids throw fits and kids act out and, you know, kids can be tough some days. They're tired, so they're more, you know, more pushy, more unreasonable. Uh, and sometimes I have days where all three of them are like that at once and those make for really hard days. <laughs> and for you moms who have multiples, I'm sure you understand exactly what I'm talking about and it was just one of those days and in order for me to be a good mom and to keep my cool and to keep positive, sometimes I just need to take a break. Even if that means sitting in a parking lot, eating food, listening to a podcast, talking to a friend, whatever that looks like, sometimes that's just all I need. And that's enough for me to pick it back up tomorrow and stay positive and stay being as good of a mom as I possibly can be. We're all human, we all lose it sometimes, you know, it happens, but I try to catch myself before I get to that point. Not always possible because Chris, you know, works all the time, but when I can, I do. So that was my day the other day. Thanksgiving was awesome. We had a great day. We cooked, we took, we took, we cooked the turkey in the Traeger grill. It took way longer than expected, but oh my goodness, it was so good. It was so good. 
uh, next year we'll either deep fry it since that's quicker or we will just a lot for enough time to cook it in the Traeger I think it took like eight to ten hours it took forever we were not expecting that so we were eating turkey dinner by like 7 30 at night <laughs> which is kind of crazy we thought we'd be eating by like four or five that did not happen so other than that I mean everything was great we hung out we kind of just relaxed and we watched the Macy's Day Parade just had a really good day as a family together the food, of course, was delicious. Thanksgiving food is always really good. Holiday food in general, I feel like it's always really good. Uh, so it ended up being a really good day. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. For those of you here who celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a wonderful holiday as well. And I just can't believe it's about to be December. My birthday's in December. I'm super excited. I always get excited for my birthday. Doesn't matter how old I get. I'm always excited for my birthday. Always. So my birthday is in December. Chris and I have already been talking about what to do. I think I want to, we talked about maybe getting away for the weekend and going to uh, like the Tennessee area, like Dollywood. If any of you are familiar with that, we thought about going to the mountains out there and kind of getting a cabin or something. But Things are so crazy right now and December is such a busy month that and it's kind of last minute plan that I feel, felt like, you know what, let's just keep it simple because we haven't planned to, you know, get away for a weekend and we'd have like a week to plan it. So let's just keep it simple. And honestly, my toes are, they're horrible right now. <laughs> they're horrible. So I told him I would love to just go off by myself, get a coffee get a pedicure and then go to a nice dinner just him and I somewhere on the water because we are in the Charleston area there are a lot of restaurants that are on the water uh so that is what we are going to do keep it simple but at the same time just nice and you know still special uh so I'm super excited for that. I have some other surprises coming. I am also going to be filming tomorrow a what I eat in a day. I went off the wagon for a little while because Thanksgiving, of course, I was eating kind of bad. Um, I wouldn't say bad, but I definitely was overindulging. So for that whole week, I just kind of was like, you know what, just let it go for now. I was still doing the intermittent fasting, but I was definitely eating more than I probably should and not always in the great not always the great stuff either um so i'm getting back to watching my calories keep doing the intermittent fasting so i figured that i would do a what i eat in a day tomorrow just to share with you uh some of the meals i eat and what i do to keep everything kind of low calorie to maintain and stay within that calorie count and of course that's going to look different for everybody some people are going to have more calories or maybe even less calories that they can consume but I just know what I'm supposed to consume every day when I'm trying to lose weight and I go with that I have an app too and I will explain all of that in uh, the video I'll talk a little bit more about you know the intermittent fasting and the calorie stuff and everything like that uh, but I'm gonna film that tomorrow I'm excited to share that so be on the lookout for that that'll be out within a few days I'd say um, and yeah I've talked now for way too long per usual, but I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. It is only Monday today, so, but you won't be seeing this until like Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> so I hope you all have, are having a wonderful week thus far. Um, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for watching and choosing to click on this video. I know I say it all the time, but I just want to emphasize how much your support means to me and means the world to me. I hit a thousand subscribers on this channel and I'm just blown away. <laughs> I'm blown away that so many of you want to sit and hang out with me and watch my videos. It seriously means so much to me. So thank you so much, guys. And with that being said, I will catch you on the next one. Bye.